Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this particular video, I will be discussing about the latest coding question which was asked in the Delta X hiring that is going on for 2026 batch students. Okay, this coding question was asked in today's exam only. So make sure that you're watching this video till the end because a lot of questions might get repeated in your exam as well. Okay, and guys, previously also, if you'll check out my channel, you will see that lot of Delta X uh, uh, videos I have already posted on this channel. So lot of questions are getting repeated from these. Make sure to watch each and every video. Okay. So now let's start the video. And before starting the video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel. And make sure to join this Telegram group. It's dedicated for 2025 and 2026 batch students. Okay. Lot of discussion regarding Delta X is happening here. Okay. So now let's continue with the video. Okay. So guys, first of all, I will be discussing the question then the approach of this question and finally the coding part of this question. Question here is given an array consisting of n integers, the task is to find the length of the smallest subarray with some equivalent to k. That is, if you are given an array, okay, and you are given a k value, you need to find the smallest subarray whose sum is equivalent to k. Okay, so length of the subarray. So if you will see that you require a subarray sum with 12. So you will see that there are total three, two possible options. One is 2, 4, 6. Okay, 2, 4, 6. This is one of the subarrays whose sum is 12. And next is 10 and 2. This is also a subarray whose sum is 12. But out of these two options, what is the smallest possible length of the subarray? So it is 2. So answer here is 2. Output is 2. Okay. So you, I know, I hope you know what is a subarray is. It is a contiguous elements inside the array. It is known as a subarray. Next example you will see if, so it is, this is the subarray. And you need to find the subarray with the sum of 5. So if you will look closely, this is the subarray. Okay, here only one possible option is there. So therefore, the length of the subarray is 2 and the output is also 2. So to uh, summarize this question, you need to find a subarray out of an array, smallest subarray out of an array whose sum is equivalent to k that is given to us. I hope now the question is given to you, uh, clear to you. Now let's quickly move towards the approach of this question. Okay, so guys, before moving ahead, I would like you to know that on our top mid page of Code Bashers, we have Delta X preparation material for 2026 batch. In this particular preparation material, you will find there are previously asked MCQ question and the coding questions of the Delta X hiring. So 120 plus MCQ questions are there and coding question 20 plus coding questions are there. So lot of questions are already getting repeated in the on campus hiring. So if you want to prepare and you do not know from where you should prepare, you can check out this preparation material. The links you will find in the description box. And if I will show you, let's suppose the MCQ sample, you will see we have a proper question. We have the proper options and the answers to it. Okay. And similarly, we have the coding question. We have a proper question given to you. We have a proper answer given to you. Okay. And these are all the running codes. So if you want that for your last minute preparation, do not do not know from where you should prepare. You can check out these material. The links are in the description box. And for first 30 people, there is a special coupon code for 15% off. I will give you the link in the description box. Okay, so guys, now let's continue with this approach. Okay, so what we are doing, we will using the prefix sum based approach. We will take a variable which will store the sum of the subarrays. We will take x that is 12. We need to find the subarray with sum as 12. This is our array. We will iterate it one by one. Okay. And this is the sequence that we'll be using. How we will be using the uh, sub sum, prefix sum subarray. So see, we need to find a subarray whose sum is equivalent to x. Okay. So let's suppose there is ARR1 sum of first subarray plus ARR2 that is sum of sub second subarray equivalent to x. But we can modify this situation to look like this. x minus sum of sum of subarray 1 equivalent to sum of 2. This is the updated situation. Okay, this is the updated situation. Now, we will be requiring a hash map to perform this operation. We will we will subtract sum 1 from x and we will check whether that sum 2 exists in the hash map or not. See, it's simple as that. So, what we'll do, we'll start iterating this array. We are first iterating this array and we now <clears throat> go and we'll add it in the sum variable. So, we will check now. So, whether this 2 minus 12. Okay, let's suppose 12 minus 2. Does this exist in the hash map or not? Currently, it is not existing in the hash map. We will go ahead and add this value in the hash map with value as the index. Next is the fourth element, that is the four. We will what we'll do? We will add it in the sum value. Now our sum becomes six. So again, what we'll do? We will do six minus twelve. Okay, twelve minus six. Twelve minus six equal to six. Whether the six exists in the hash map or not? So it does not exist in the hash map. So we'll add six and value will be 1. Now we'll move ahead and we'll add 6 towards our sum. 
okay so now our sum becomes 12 now what we are doing we will do 12 minus 12 equal to 0 does this 0 exist in the hash map so answer is no it is not existing in the hash map but see this 12 this 12 is exactly the sum of this sub array okay this is a sub array and this is exactly what we require so what we'll do we will take a uh, we will take a variable which will store the length of the sub array so length variable we will take initialize it with 0 and now since 12 we have found out that sum uh, this sub array has the sum as 12 so we'll take the length of this sub array it is it will be 3 okay and we'll add this sum into the uh, hash map and index will be 2 i hope this thing is clear to you now we'll move ahead okay now we'll move ahead 10 is there okay 10 is there now we'll add 10 to the sum that is 22 so 22 minus 12 10 does 10 exist in the hash map answer is no 10 does not exist in the hash map so we'll add 22 with index as 3 now we will add but we'll do we'll add 2 to the sum 22 was the sum now it will become 24 so does 24 minus 12 24 minus 12 does this exist in the hash map so yes 12 exists in the hash map see 12 exists in the hash map so now what will be the length of this sub array because 12 is existing in the hash map so what will be the how will we calculate the length of this sub array we will calculate i minus the value of 12 the current i is 0 1 2 3 4 so this is the current i minus the value of 12 in the hash map so 4 minus 2 is 2 so earlier the length was 3 now the length is 2 so what which one is minimum it is 2 because you have to find the minimum length of the sub array so we have done length as 2 and we have added 24 as fourth index similarly we'll go ahead and add this one it will become 25 thus 25 minus 12 exists in the hash map does 13 exist in the hash map answer is no 13 does not exist in the hash map okay so then there is no need to find another length okay find the sub array length so we'll add 25 towards the hash map in the index files now once this entire iteration is over and we have filled the hash map you will find that we have got our length in the length variable okay i hope now the approach is clear to you if you have any doubts you can always write in the comment section okay now let's quickly move towards the coding part of this question okay so guys for saving time i have already written the code here so this particular thing you can see here is it is for taking the input of the array and the x value okay now next we have taken the input uh, we have declared a variable called sum okay which will store the sub array sum answer value which will finally store the length of the minimum sub array okay so initialize with int max because we need to always we need to find the minimum therefore this initial is initialized with int max we will be iterating over each and every value of the array first we will add that value inside the sum value okay we will add that value inside the hash map with the index as value now we will check whether the current sum is double equivalent to the x that we only only require so if it is there so we'll add, what we'll do we will check we will update the answer variable with this value with <clears throat> so if the previous value of answer value is small then the current value it will not be updated but if the current value is small then the previous value it will be updated okay this is one scenario next scenario was i have told you that whether the sum minus x sum minus x value does this does this is is this present in the hash map or not is this present in the hash map or not so if it is present in the hash map so again similar thing we will be doing like updating the answer variable but what will be the current value it will be the current index minus the value of sum minus x inside the hash map as i've told you in the approach section we will compare and the minimum value will get updated inside this inside this variable okay and in the end we are simply printing out the answer value i hope this co code is clear to you you can always take the screenshot for it it, it might it is might it is, it is possible that the same question might be asked from you okay let's just run it and it will be passing all the test that will be given to you okay so one thing one change you can do here is you can always find out the absolute value here some minus it might be negative also okay so you can try to find out the you can always try to find out the absolute value here i hope everything is clear to you okay if you want more such videos always write in the comment section that yes you want more such videos i will be happy to make it and as i have told you about the delta x preparation material on the top mid page of code bashers you can check out previously asked mcqs and coding questions are there you can go ahead and practice for that for your last minute preparation uh, the coupon code of 15 percent off is valid for first 30 percent you can always find all the details in the description box as well as in the pinned comment thank you for watching this video